What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ghetto coming back at you again. And today, what I want to do is give people a quick walkthrough of how to install expansions from your computer onto your MPC device for standalone use. I've been getting a lot of people asking me questions about how to do that. I know there are other videos on YouTube explaining this process, but since I've got so many people asking me, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough and show you in this video right here. Keep in mind that this video is for beginners, people who just purchased the MPC and they're brand new to the game. If that's you, then this video may have some information you need. If not, if you're an experienced MPC user and you know how to do this, feel free to skip this video. For everybody else, follow me. Okay, now for this process, you will need to have the MPC software installed and also you have to have the expansions that you want to transfer installed on your computer. I know there are people out there who don't want to have anything to do with a computer, don't like computers, don't want to look at a computer, but um, as far as the Akai expansions that, that, that come directly from their website, there are only a few that you can download directly for standalone use. The rest of them do have to be installed on the computer. So the first thing you have to do, if you haven't already, is go to the Akai website and you'll have to uh, create an account. So it's up here in the top right corner, you click sign in. And once you click sign in, it'll bring you to this page where you can either create account or sign into your existing account. Now, if you are a new MCC user, you'll want to create an account so that you can register your device. Now, once you have your account created, you can then click on your name in the top right corner and go to your account. Once inside your account, you want to go over here to my register products and at this point you won't have anything registered but i do because i have several mpc devices but um and i'll show you this with the mpc live what you want to do is flip the device over to the back and there's a serial code right here that you register where it says register your product you type that serial code in in full and once you register your product all of your downloadable content will appear from there you select all of the downloads that you want um, you will get the the factory content which is the factory expansions and also some vsts built for the mpc software now the first thing you want to do is download and install MPC. It is currently on the 2.8.1 software and you can download it for whatever type of computer that you have, whether it's a Windows PC or a Macintosh. I'm not gonna do that right now because I already have it installed. Uh, once you download it, you just double click it to open it and uh, follow the prompts to install it. From there, you will go to the Essential Sound Library and download and install those. Those are the factory MPC expansions. Now, once you've got everything installed, then you'll open up your MPC software. And this process is very simple, very straightforward, and it's quick and easy to do. Um, you go to the top left corner, you see this hamburger icon, you click on that. From there, you'll go down to the tools menu. And inside the tools menu, you go almost all the way to the bottom and you'll see expansion manager. Now from the expansion manager, everything will have check marks in it. You don't need to do anything there. You go down to the bottom right corner and click export. Now from here, the first thing you wanna do is select your MPC drive, SD card, or flash card. In my case, I have a SSD inside of my MPC X, and um, that's what I'm selecting. So, so it's whatever drive you want to name it inside your MPC. Now, if it's an SD card, you will pick your SD card. If you have an SSD loaded inside of your MPC, then you'll choose your SSD. 
Um, in the case of an MPC-1, you will want to choose your SD card or a flash drive. And the same goes for the MPC Live or Log 2 if you do not have an SSD installed inside the device. Now, you can either select the expansions that you want individually, or you can go to the bottom and click Select All. Now from here, as long as you have your hard drive set, you have everything selected that you want to transfer to your MPC for standalone use, you click Export. and it will create an expansions folder inside of your saved destination and it will load all of your expansions on there for you. And it doesn't really take that long, uh, a couple of minutes and you're done and ready to go. Then you can switch your MPC back into standalone mode and uh, you're good to go. And I said one thing to note during this entire process, I think I kind of skipped over it. The MPC must be connected to the computer with this blue cable connected to the back of your MPC and your MPC must be in controller mode. I did briefly skip over that. So now it's done. It says the expansion export is a success. Once that's done, you can close the MPC software, eject the hard drive from your computer and switch to standalone mode. And now you will have all of your expansions on your MPC device in standalone. Just a quick video to help out the people. And I'm out.